Where's to her? I mean Freon and welcome to it, another video. Do you want to read an article which once again proves that most of the things in the Rings of Power TV show are 100% constructed Amazon's original plot lines and characters and stories and so on and so forth? Well, let us dive in into what Collider.com, oh yes, the garbage news outlet, wrote a couple of days ago with a little help of Charlie Vickers, a man who is going to portray Hal Brand, an Amazon's original character, or not really Amazon's original character, according to some of the leaks that we know about, which say that Hal Brand is actually Sauron in disguise. Now, for all of us who know the law, who are acquainted with the books, it's nothing new that uh, Sauron was trying to fool a lot of inhabitants of Middle-earth by his disguise of Anatar, and only later revealed himself to be Sauron the Dark Lord, who in secrecy forged the One Ring to rule them all. Now, of course, uh, ap apparently Amazon had a deal with the Tolkien estate and so on and so forth, that they cannot break the law, that they cannot mar the stories that were written by Professor Tolkien himself. For example, that they cannot kill a character who is alive in The Lord of the Rings. Well, apparently, according to another leak, Celeborn is dead at the beginning of the show. Now, there is a huge possibility that they will revive him, or that they will bring him back throughout the series. We also know that the Rings of Power themselves are not going to appear in the first season of the Rings of Power. They are not going to be forged. And now, it really looks more and more probable that Halbrand here is the Sauron himself in disguise, no matter what the shills and quote fan sites quote on the internet are trying to make us believe. Now, there was this uh, misinformation piece a couple of days ago, right after the trailer uh, to the Rings of Power came out, and there, there is this uh, Eminem looking character, is actually Anatar Sauron, and a lot of people believed it. But I, I made a little research. And uh, I, I traced the beginning of that rumor, and it really started with one of the fan sites that are very active on the internet, and they are very much against Gary from Nerdrotic and uh, his leak, his inside information about Halbrand and the fact that he is Sauron in disguise. So. I don't really know what their goal is. They are trying to fight Gary from the Drotics and uh, make people believe that Halbrand actually isn't Sauron. But what if he is? So they will be proved wrong in the end and they will look like complete nitwits. Why just not comment upon it at all? And I have asked this particular fan site very openly on social media, so you can confirm that Hal Brand is not Sauron. It, you, you can make an official statement then. Well, of course, I was only met with silence. But let us dive into what Collider.com wrote about uh, the character of Charlie Vickers and his first meet meeting with Galadriel. And you will see that the scene that he is describing is 100% Amazon and 0% Tolkien, as I have expected and as I have been talking about since I met this channel. So, uh, the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, Charlie Vickers talks Hal Brand, and by the way, I refuse once again to pronounce Amazon's original characters the way they could or should be pronounced according to Professor Tolkien. So I'm not going to be saying Hal Brand, but I'm going to be saying Hal Brand. I'm not going to be saying Arondir. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be saying Rondir. I'm not going to be saying, uh, whatever, uh, Adar, but I'm going to be saying Adar, even though this word has appeared in the Legendarium, but not as a name of 
and Amazon's original character. All right, now we can move on. A simple encounter can change the world. The Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. Once again, I'm saying lose the name, you nitwits. You're only desecrating it. Star Charlie Vickers reveals his character. Hal Brand's story is defined by a fateful encounter with Galadriel, Morfit Clark, the fan favorite elven leader. Why suddenly are we talking about Galadriel as, sh as, as, as if she was a general? You know, the same thing happened to Princess Leia in Star Wars. So in all the films and expanded universe, she has always been Princess Leia until Disney touched the character. And then in the sequel trilogy, she was, she was General Leia. Well, because obviously Hollywood is trying to defeminize women and make them into the boys, make them into male characters. Femininity is something they absolutely hate, despise all they are afraid of. So we are, Amazon is scrapping and forgetting, discarding uh, everything we know about Galadriel. And we have a lot of what Tolkien wrote about the character. And it's nothing like the character in the Rings of Power. The elven leader, the commander of the northern armies, the, the, the orc slayer of come on and sod off. And if you come with, uh, come at me with bits and pieces and sentences from Tolkien's works taken absolutely out of context, like she looked at them with an eye of a commander, I will only laugh at you for not being able to read the books in their entirety, explain everything in the full context, and only following sheepishly and brainless brainlessly a half a sentence from a book that you've never read and will never read. During this year's San Diego Comic-Con, Vickers was part of a cast of interviews with Clyde's own Perry Nemirov, getting away new plot details for the highly anticipated show. One of the most intensive sequences of the upcoming series takes place in the Sundering Seas, where Galadriel and Hal Brand need to work together just to survive the fury of the waves while on board of a precarious raft. <laughs> While the series will explain how the elf warrior became the ruler of Lothorian, it will also expand on J.R.R. Tolkien to show how Galadriel affected the lives of hundreds of people in Middle-earth. Mm. One of these people was Hal Brand, a new character created exclusively for the show and whose journey is defined by his encounter with Galadriel. Reflecting on this curious meeting, Vickers saying, so first we should say whether bloody Vickers is Sauron or not, you have to admit, even you, and I'm talking to you, Shillies. Hey, Shills, hello. Shills and goodie baggies, hello. 20 minutes of rough footage shown, hello. Even you have to admit that this is all made up. None of this is Tolkien. So admit it, please. You can love the show. You can shill for the show. I am not saying you should not love the show. You can do whatever you want. You can love pineapple on pizza. I don't like pineapple on pizza, but I am not saying that you shouldn't because it's your own choice. But don't come at me with this Orwellian bullcrap. I will not abandon the evidence of my own eyes and ears. This is not Tolkien. All right. There's a chance, and this is what uh, Charlie Vick is saying, there's a chance he had not met her, that his life might have gone not, not gone on. And I think that that's interesting. In that moment, when they first meet, they are survival to each other. It's like if he hadn't met her, he was still stuck on this raft in the middle of the Sundering Seas. So I think that their fates crossing paths open up this whole world for Hal and makes him question so many things in the past. And then it also makes him reassess the kind of man he m might be in the future. So this junk food, this fast food of a, of a sentence or paragraph that he said was very obviously fed to him by Amazon. And by the showrunners, uh, because I think that if he could say something from his own heart, he would say something much more intelligent than that. And secondly, uh, really, it it if you if you look at it, it says nothing, absolutely nothing. It's a bland, 
as I said, fast food, no nourishment, nothing. Um, and also 100% constructed. Like if I read this interview and this article and I didn't know that it was about the Rings of Power, I'd be like, oh, is there anything new coming out? Okay, well. So, and the article concludes by, it's very short, fortunately. It says, while we still don't know much about Hellbrand, other than he's uh, Sauron, it sounds like he'll become a close ally to Galadriel. Mm -hmm. Since the Rings of Power retells the story of Sauron's rise to power and the creation of the titular rings, by the way, none of these two things are apparently going to be in the first season, it looks like fate will bring Halbrand and, Ga and Galadriel together to fight a new Dark Lord and protect Middle-earth against the forces of evil. And it all starts with their meeting in the Sundering Seas. I hope, sincerely, because, you know, I don't even care anymore if they mess something up. Now, it has really evolved into, I hope they will mess up as much as possible. So I can say, I've told you so. So I can say, I've been correct. But I don't even have to hope, because I know it will happen. But, you know, w what I hope for, I seriously, sincerely hope they, those two will shag. So I can just smear this in the faces of all the shields. Ah, look, I told you. I told you it's going to be garbage. Look at them shagging. Look at them shagging. Oh, chikang, gong, chikang, gong. All right, all right, all right. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you, if you believe that uh, this bloke, Hal Brown, is Sauron or not. And that will be all. Thank you very much for watching. And Namariye.